Hello and welcome back to chapter 9 of the Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Cloud's all pretty, Ares is all pretty, and we're ready to go see the Don. And rescue Tiffa, obviously. Let's get Rooms to on it. The second floor, at the very end of the wall. Who walks yeah, like such a lady as well. And she's hot. That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Room's at the end. Keep walking. Well, this should this should all be like the last part of this. Then this has been a really long chapter. Huh? What's that weird, sweet smell? And why do I feel so dizzy? Gas. Uh, uh? Come on. Damn it. Cloud. Oh dear. Hey, pretty ladies, too. Feeling a little lightheaded? Better can't have that. Let's say we escort you to the parlor, so you can make yourself more comfortable. Let's get this show on the road. Where are you taking us? Come on now, Lopsy Daisy. Hey, you have a repair, asshole. Hey, now, you want to throw down the Corneo girl? So if you leave a mark on him, you ain't getting off with a one. I know. Managed to wrangle some real lookers this time, dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, can you hear me? Oh. Tifa? Yes? You okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good. Wait a minute. Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! <laughs> and that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank Turn you. Turn you on, Tifa. <sighs> You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey, Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks. Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no, not until I got what I came for. Well, there's what? One thing that so, they kept Tifa with from the original. Back to the slums, you didn't some guys really say around it. asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. Or a couple of things. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one on one time, but then I realized. I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. Looking good, Tiffa. This room gives me the creeps. Don't laugh at me. Uh, anything to pick up? Yeah, here we go. Now, ladies, listen up. I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin. Don't know Head what out the door to got. the left and up the stairs. Come on, ladies, let's hustle. Oh, here we go. All right, guys, let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? That's a vending machine. 
I'll take that. Always buy these cheap items. Just because they're so cheap. You can sell them and make a profit if you don't want them. Beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dawn. <sighs> hmm. Hmm? Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? <laughs> So let's do this thing. Dumbass. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Don Corneo. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Such a weird little dude. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Today's bride to be is today's and tomorrow's or the day afters if the dawn takes a shine to you pathetic huh hey which <laughs> one of you said that was it you Ooh, you got a mouth on you I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. Leftovers are all yours. Yeah, please! Okay. okay, ladies. Y'all come with me. This is gonna Don't get weird. Shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Ooh! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all huh? got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. <laughs> so, ladies, ready to get to it? Yeah, I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? 
Mm. Four guys between us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Colosseum. <laughs> what the hell? Get down! Down, you stupid! Wait! Job, Eric. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Side boob on it. Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts, your gear. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Cheers, dude. Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? Oh. Nice. Better hurry. Love to spend some quality time with girls like that. Bet they're going at it right now. Lucky bastard. No, I don't think so. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, ain't you two going to sex? Here. <laughs> nice. We've got that. And we're safe. Um, is that a room here? Is this just to go back down here? Is this where we came from? Um... I think there's actually enough to grab a zone. <laughs> Don't stop! Tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am! <laughs> yes, yes I am! Here I come, baby! <laughs> <laughs> hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! Uh -huh. oh. 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 So you're a man, huh? <laughs> what are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Yeah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> uh, 
Some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid, you know. See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. <laughs> or I'll smash them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Well, I'm about to drop down a um, hatch, but I'll say that just to seem cool. When they're faced with certain death, jackass. <laughs> Not what we were looking for. But you can find it. In the sewers! <laughs> Gnarly. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well that's the end of um, chapter 9 finally, so thank you very much for watching guys. Remember to smash that like button, um, and I'll catch you in the next video.